Hello, collective. You have been standing up for yourself even though people have been looking at you as a bitch. But you know what's best for you. That's why this bitch can't, car came out. You're like an alien to some people. Even your twin flame. Because they want to participate in being a simp. It's okay. Because this bitch... And this is the reading I got earlier. That's why I'm going to combine it with the next one. It's feeling burden. Yeah. This bitch. This is what I got out the energy. This bitch is feeling heartbroken. With this blue, I guess what they feel with their responsibility what they was calm about when they should have been serious. They feeling in regret with their feelings with these cups. They wish they would have picked it the fuck up. It's okay. Because they bring you this kind of energy. And try to six reflect this kind of love. With your feelings with these cups. To an alien. This simp. That was. Blocked. Or struggling. In their life. They had like a power struggle. Going on. With these feelings and illusions. And who they really thought they were. That's why they came to you. Without the impression. That the first impression. Was going to be their fucking last. And you gave this person many of times to be serious. You gave this person many of times this simp that wants to be now strong. Eight. I put my um where to find support. <clears throat> this simp know where to find support. That they're going through a power struggle with their blue responsibilities. Whatever entanglement, whatever challenge or competition to putting you down, to calling your job, trying to see where you work to get you fired, to send someone else in is catching up with them, friend. Temptation with this card. I feel like with this star seed, you are reflecting love with this six. Not just because you're in a relationship, but because you're reflecting love within yourself. You might be going through things or putting up boundaries. That's why you're being hopeful, prosperity, and growth with this sun card. Like, um, wherever you are in life, with all this comp without this complication and this manipulation, you peace. And you're at peace. You're probably sleeping better. Or you will. That's why this bitch, whoever's, you know, carrying on these burdens because their heart is broken in regret because they picked up the wrong cup. <laughs> they picked up the wrong cup. This simp. I feel like this karmic picked up the wrong cup. That's why their heart is broken. And they took on the responsibility of your person. And now they're in regret. That's why they're bitching. And trying to stand up for what they want. Because you like an alien to them. They can't compete. And they don't get it. 
why you're balanced with this six reflecting how much you know you keeping up your balance and boundaries to this toxic shit that's why this sun is out here and this simp is struggling who I love in this delusion this narcissistic person trying to keep strong let's see what spirit wants you to believe and understand what you're going through this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you're seeking in reverse flirt which means the person you thought was the one this came in reverse do not flirt block and just cut them off because they're not getting it. Because if you're dealing with a narcissistic person, they might not understand that you're over them. Get to know each other. As you reveal your innermost each uh, self to each other, you'll be bonded deepen. Your bond will deepen. So it kind of give me that even if you don't like this person, even if you hate their guts, at least see what they're trying to tell you because you can learn from the next experience. Like if you go through this with someone else, you're going to know where they're coming from. Because you don't want to deal with this shit again. This came in reverse. Release your ex. This time has come to clear your energy. So it's like you don't have to. It's like if you forgive your ex. You accepting. That the people that abused you. Only used you because you was convenient. Or it was to control. Or because they was sick. Or because they was going through something. Or because this was a family generational curse. Or whatever the fuck you was going through. You understand that it had nothing to do with you. And you got caught up in the cycle. That's why you got to break it. Releasing your ex. Clear your energy of negativity. So we got one, two, three, four. Let's pull one more. Mm, one more card. Let's make it good. Yeah, make it good. You know, I was going to go out tonight, but I didn't because I realized where I want to go to is just like a club. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the, in, of the, bliss of the holidays together. Hello. So I was about to say, like, I want to go out, but I realized the places that I want to go to are places that still relate to where I've been. And I didn't usually meet no one valuable in those places. And if I did meet someone, we went there to celebrate that we was the valuable ones. So it's kind of like, okay, so I meet people riding. I meet people at the grocery store. I meet people going along. I meet just people going along in life. That's why it's keeping me in channel to do what I need to do that makes me happy. To stay on my honeymoon. With myself. Power of attraction. So we're going to scoop this shit up. Because we did this energy read. So let's get some shit that is new to us. Let's soak it up. If you want to contact me, look at me at Pony's YouTube channel. I do recognize that if you can cash out me $20, unlimited time, 
that's guaranteed a good conversation and not some therapy or you know uh make you feel like you're in a conference call you could be who you want to be it's between us so uh you could contact contact me at ponies four nine six eight three at gmail four nine six eight three four nine six eight three pony four nine six eight three gmail so that you know that if i don't contact you back it's because it's in my community board or it's in my description box in any other video i'm going to update it but i'm never too far behind so let's get on with the video so Put them up. We're gonna start with. Ooh, we. Fake, um, fake karma. So if some of y'all are going through good karma. Some of us or some of y'all are going through bad karma. Something ending, something beginning. So some of y'all beginning to travel. Some of y'all knowing they're going to the same bar. In the same places. You're going to meet the same people. That's why it's hard for you to decide. You know like if you want to go to a bar. Or to a happy hour. When you're going to meet people that drink smoke. Or have the same issues you used to do. So maybe you want to volunteer somewhere. Because. Someone is trying to keep you in a cycle with someone else. They're trying to keep you as a third party. And you're too good for that. So they spy on you. Let's pull. When I say that they spy on you and you too good for that. Don't mean that you're too good for each one of them. And whoever they choose to be in a relationship with. It kind of just show that because you make better decisions. You're not better than anyone, but you choose to make better decisions, sacrifice, which means put yourself in hurt and see who want to help you. Now that you're grown and understand what a butterfly means to grow and be beautiful. You know who's going to stand up for you and who's not. That you probably thought was and is a beautiful thing that you know. That's why we back on this honeymoon thing. So people watching you be on your honeymoon for at least two years or more. You've been happy because a honeymoon is at least for two years. Or maybe they're on their honeymoon in another boring ass relationship or cycle. Why you are aware over there beginning something new because if they wasn't in another born there cycle or going through the same thing, same thing with a baby mama or a dad or someone new who gives a fuck, this person is putting, th putting them through the same thing y'all went through <laughs> and what they went through before. With people before you, after them, and doing you, and all this other shit. That's why they spy on your honeymoon. Yeah. So let's see who you are. Are you going? I feel like you are this cycle. I don't feel like you're spying. I feel like you're on your honeymoon, at least for two years. Even if you're pregnant. And. Uh -huh. Influence. You've been using your good for good. You've been an influence on these people that's been in a cycle that's been watching you but cannot give you credit. This can be even family outside of town or in your town or close within you. Or people that knew you since you were young, but they're not going to recognize you. They're not going to recognize that you are a snack. <laughs> That's why you got in the middle of that. And 
and whoever spy on your broadcast, your internet, or your social media, you must be fucking interesting. You must be enough for them to be jealous of you for the last couple of years or months. Within two years, or even more of that, but I'm just saying for you to interact with this person and recognize how long it's been, <laughs> or how much, like you tried this person, you gave him another chance, but within within those time frames, you learn different things about people, temper, abuse verbally and physically and sexually and whatever else you need to learn and this person was still coming at you with the same bullshit they was trolling you this one came out from this influencer that I did not see that they was trying to put in a cycle like sending you a friend request and then they got scared to tell you that they was playing with you. That's why they admit to you that, hey, it's me. Because they've been already dealing with enough karma in their life or they don't want to get stuck with the karma they already done. <laughs> Do I need to say more? I guess I do. Mm. So somebody is in something starting a new beginning that's being trolled as an influencer or someone is staying in a cycle that's trolling you that's an in, that is an influence over the over the bitches that they hang with. Are you prepared to receive or give a love offer? So I, I feel like you're starting a new beginning and you're trolling and you're trying to see where you can be an influence to give out the message with this Knight of Cups with your feelings where you need to go. Like I was thinking about going out tonight, but I thought about twice about how, why keep going to a bar or happy hour when before I never met no one valuable there. Okay, so maybe I need to join a uh, volunteer or uh, um, some shit like this. Look at what's available in my community. So yes, you keeping it a message. It's influencer. Feel like they being trolled and they don't want to go through some fucking cycle, but it's a cycle that's a new beginning for them. Staying away from these trolls. <laughs> this whole secretly. And even if this person that they're dealing with is dealing with third parties, fourth parties, you know, most people that cheat are at least dealing with the person that is the main one that's supplied, that is a jump off in all three, where they can use and abuse, beat, rough up, get pregnant run out on ghost and come back and forth push and pull energy and then you got that one that has the one that they have the dream or the fantasy chick or man on the side that they wish they can be with they have a little money to help them out or if they're doing good they'll deal with someone that's broke and then you have that third one that's like a jump off the one they have sex with at work the one they're having sex with within their family. Someone else's family that's entirely too close to them. Their best friend's family kind of energy. Someone they just been dealing with for years and they've been doing this shit and they don't get where it's not going anywhere, but because it's a secret. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so what does what does this secret lead to? You putting your life at risk, not trusting someone you can deal with on a regular with your life, and think that you really know what they're doing without you. Especially if they're not examining these people' private parts. That's why your health is in liability. So while they letting somebody else be an influence, they watch you as an influence, trolling you, trying to put you in a cycle, and you moving secretly with your feelings and what you need to do, not letting out too much, but you looking like a snack. So you looking like a snack. Let's flip it out. Where's the snack doing? Okay. You thinking over there single and complete? <laughs> ah, you not dealing with the bullshit. Ooh, my bad. <laughs> you not dealing with third parties and you looking good and you looking good single. This person thought you was gonna chase them or this person thought for some of y'all because they were so narcissistic that you was Y'all, you should be grateful that they called you to troll you in. See that you are a good influence. <sighs> mm hmm They're looking at you like someone that is single, that have some spiritual guidance, and you're like a hermit. And that it's kind of like you don't give a fuck about what they think. When you need to go in your chambering mode, chamber, like when you need to go inside and think to yourself and understand what you need to understand without other people's opinions. That's why some men will have the garage. Some men will have their own room. Some women will let their men have this so they can understand when they need to go in there. And it has worked. Even if you have a guest room. So, yes. Whoever is spying on you, whoever is looking at you as a broadcast on your social media, is looking at your money and shit like this, honey. Can they see you not only single, but you having a spiritual awakeness? You know what energy harboring is. is. You know when people are trying to switch energies with you. You know when people are lo uh, leaving you um, fake friend requests, um, messages, emails, and shit like this. You know they can be just wanting to be in your energy whether they know it or not to see if you're going to respond because you know that they jealous of you looking like you're on a honeymoon. Even your job thought that firing you or being mean to you was going to work. Been there so many times before but you didn't let it get over you. So the overall energy of people that try to be an influence on you, that trolled you, tried to put you in a cycle with some messages and emails or at your job or something. People that tried to put you in an entanglement that already was already in uh, People that was already in relationship. They had baby mamas and dad tags. Or that was sprung on other people. Looked at you as an object. Triple threat. But you had more than that. So you went in hermit mode on them hoes. And you had spiritual guidance. So they started spy <laughs> spying on you, looking at your social media. Even around your house. Because the shit you were speaking was real. And they probably heard this before. But not from people that had knowledge. Not from people that already had an influence on 
changing people's lives like a healer and seeing it and then they witnessing it and experiencing it. So it's kind of like, well, God damn, where I've been spending my money energy, where I've been looking at someone that been talking shit for the right reason that should have their broadcast if they do, spying on them, looking single and beautiful. They have no uh, reason to not have kids if they wanted to. They probably would adopt kids. You know that they looking at y'all as jealousy because it's not that you can't move the way you want to even if you have kids. It's still a honeymoon, boo, where you choose to spend your money and energy. These trolls and that's trying to put you in a cycle and they see you doing a new beginning, whether you doing secretly or them playing with you, see that you're balanced, boo. And this came in reverse, but your royalty, your wealth and shit like this is in no uh, like an inner knowing of your spiritual guidance. It's not just about you trying to look good, boo. Is this bitch got someone else and you're not going to sell for someone that got a spot on you and you're already on your honeymoon, like you're already happy. And the shit that you talked to them about and what you came at them with, they knew you was right. They knew they was jealous. They knew they they been trolling you and trying to come at you. They planned this shit before they tackled you, knowing that they was with someone else spying on you on your honeymoon moment. You could been have even working but you was happy or uh, whatever things you or uh, whatever you was going through wasn't new to you you just didn't need no motherfucker coming in your life adding on or not helping you that's why you got rid of it it's like you was already in a predicament and you eliminated the bullshit to focus on what you needed to this person didn't think you were gonna do that this person didn't think that you knew or uh, got what it took to balance yourself. <clears throat> they had a rule awakening spying on your broadcast even when you're in hermit mode so they constantly secretly try to look at you to balance themselves out of their jealousy energy yeah, they secretly watched you on your honeymoon to balance or agree with the energy they was in. Because you was looking like this here type of shit. Like, huh? I'm balanced. Now, where am I going to spend my energy? I think I'm going to be an influencer. Now, that changed everything. It changes everything. Oh. I told you. You been are them being in a cycle and you start a new beginning with these trolls you seen the light made you more creative made you realize that this bitch these bitches are just hating and there's no point in you caring about what they think because what they think don't matter. And what you're doing is more important. It's your intuition. So I guess these trolls are trying to come up with another way to spy on someone they feel like is a triple threat. Someone that they feel like triple three getting support. 
on their procast on their procast or what they're saying might be true, but they don't like it because they're jealous that you're more smarter than they thought you were, or that they couldn't convince their partner that you're not dumb. But you're on a vacation, don't give a fuck. That's why their partner and them are stuck on this. While they part of us, them are stuck on trying to stay in the cycle. So you are the glue to keep them happy. You are the glue to keep them fighting together. You are the glue to make them have a team. But then when you remove yourself or let them know that you never was in this cycle, this invisible war, this fake ass beef. <laughs> Now they get they've been wasting their time. Now they get that they really don't even like each other. They compete with each other. And now they thought that they had someone to compete with. Because narcissistic people only like you if they could talk about you or team up with someone else to compete with you with. Someone else they can keep in the cycle that control you and use their intuition for shit. It's going to keep them feeling balanced about this triple threat. <laughs> Someone they were spying on. That's a triple threat. Someone they were spying on. They let someone that I guess they watch with a third party that got in between y'all. It could be even a brother, a mother, a child. Because if you've been keeping up with me, I really appreciate that you do, boo. Like and subscribe. The truth is selfishness. The truth is ruthlessness, devilish. Premeditation, monistic, someone who is overly conscious because they have issues with their sexuality or they know that they fucked up enough people even with their kids. Their conscience, their conscience is constantly kicking the fuck in. That's why they are the truth reverse. That watch your podcast that has someone else watching them or subordinating them. So they're constantly having to lie to someone that's on the illusion that is someone that is self conceited. So I guess as long as this person vanity unnecessary those who sacrifice themselves unnecessary for people that is who is jealous of you because you're on your honeymoon or they think they're on a honeymoon but yet now they have your person there jealous of you <laughs> so why are you jealous if you have the collective because the collective person or you even is looking at them as a snack and this is a cycle that you've already been through that's why it's easy for you to harass or keep up or um go on a regular on the internet and look this <laughs> fantastic awesome amazing purpose of person up on a regular at their new beginning and troll them and look at how creative they are with your intuition and that's how deep the fuck you is in the shit that you need to get on so this person that is childish childish trolling and using their intuition is child has childhood issues sexual abuse 
bad news, broken motherfucking dream, someone who's not planning for tomorrow, someone that's narcissistic, so this person don't think for their future. That's been trolling you in a cycle and watching your new beginning, watching you use your intuition and power with your manifestation. And they over there fighting, spying, because you look like a snack. And they trying to get someone to agree with their bullshit. But it's conflict because whoever got between you and your twin flame is watching you on your podcast. Whoever saw you that's been in this cycle where they used to they person cheating on them decided to watch you. That's when the shit changed, boo. Because you're on your motherfucking honeymoon. That's what made this bitch jealous. Even if this is a masculine day and they feel the energy now because you broke a bitch down from what the shit you said. And now you looking like a snack or they feel like they only a snack. You a triple threat to this trolling ass bitch. But they know that, okay, so you was manipulated, but I use my creativity because I know how to manipulate too in this cycle because I know the shit you're doing. That's why I look like a snack. It's not with outside, it's within too. That's why you're a selfish bitch. And that's what we broadcasting while you got in the middle of some shit that had nothing to do with you. That's why I'm on my honeymoon and I get it that the more the collective person is with you, the more that they're suffering, boo. That's what's the point of the energy. So we might keep it secretly to ourselves. Oh, we know this person is secretly watching you because they're selfish and cautious is over and they're overly cautious and manipulative. So they look at your broadcast. But they still know someone got in the middle of why they made the decision they did. Someone that kissed their ass and you wasn't going to do it and you shouldn't have had to. Because you tried to help these fuckers. So just people are jealous because you're on your honeymoon because they are... Having to sacrifice themselves for any of the energy, water, and uh, earth. So they put their feelings in their work. They was patient. They was childish. Fighting, arguing, putting their ducks in a row with this person. Struggling. Defensive. Strikes. Chaos. Clashing personality. Ego. That's what they was going through with this queen of cups in reverse that was keeping secrets and being manipulated. Mm -hmm. That they invested in. They had this tourist kind of energy. They liked the expensive things. They got with your person because they looked like they have value. That's the only reason. Yeah, this person that was stuck with childhood abuse, bad news, and broken dreams. They Broken dreams remind, remind me of... It's like this people this person still had people that supported them. Even if they had things they wanted to do, they knew where to find support and at some point they had it, but maybe they fucked up with them. Mm-hmm. They fucked up with these people. Needing therapy. Keeping themselves in a cycle. Starting a new beginning. Knowing that they was crazy. So these people was like, I'm not going to fuck my future up for them either. So it's kind of like people that did have goals and dreams. They had strong intuition. Didn't deal with this page either. They had choices or this page had choices in their lives. They choose to make that was chaos and conflict. 
and then one agree to you that look like a snack, but they read a spot. Looking stupid because someone else, baby mama or drama, they feel like because they had a baby with someone that they're more important, even if they're ruining their fucking life. Sounds smart. To who? Let's just pull these cards. It's her night, her night. So they was keeping a secret that to me that someone else that they were with or that you are, someone they watched their podcast with, they was being selfish and being overly conscious with you and being devilish with you. Keeping you as a secret. But you kept them with this too in alignment. And that's not what the fuck you just was here for. You was here for a new beginning, new relationship, new romance, love, happiness, joy. 